All right. This morning, we heard Pastor Galti give the marks of a disciple. Uh, you know, we have to decide what is a disciple if we're going to try to make one. Uh, let, let's just begin by just kind of going down the line. I'm, all of you guys have struggled with that question, what is a disciple? What is it we're trying to produce? Uh, we heard the pastors this morning. Let, let's hear from you other guys this morning uh, or this afternoon. How have you defined a disciple? That is a process that we were very intentional on. I just finished my doctoral process and walked in December. The very beginning of that was something I, I took a group of 12 people through to try to figure that out. What, it, what was the disciple going to be? Because uh, that's the product of what we're wanting to produce at our church is a biblical disciple that is reproduced. And so um, through a long process, um, God led me to 2 Timothy chapter 2, which you'll recognize is that generational discipleship, the things that you've heard me say and trust those to, uh, to other men that they'll be able to qualify to share with others. You've got four generations of disciples made there. But it was interesting, the next verses, verses 3, uh, 4, and 5, he gives a beautiful picture to me what a disciple is. And that's where we got our, our definition from. And he, he talks about um, the soldier, and he talks about the athlete, and then he talks about the farmer. So we, we worked through that, and our definition of a disciple, based on that 2 Timothy chapter 2 passage, is a passionate, committed follower of Christ. So that's where we came up in, in that definition. For us, we talk about discipleship as a way of moving forward toward a Christ-centered life for most of my ministry, we talked about if you'll get in a group, then you'll become a disciple. But the reality is, is a lot of people were involved in groups that were not becoming disciples of Christ. They were just going through the motions of discipleship or a discipleship methodology, if you will. So we reframed the discipleship to say that a disciple of Christ is one that's being formed, conformed, and transformed into the image of Jesus Christ. It's about Robbie's question this morning is, what's God doing in your life? That question it can be rephrased for us, and how are you becoming more like Jesus today? And so it's the words and the deeds of Jesus just naturally flowing out of a person where they live, work, and play. So what we try to do is help people understand that we want to say the things that Jesus would say. We want to do the things that Jesus would do. We want to act like Jesus. And that's a whole different conversation. It's a whole different conversation from, hey, will you come to my life group or will you come to my Sunday school class? The conversation is, how are we becoming more like Jesus today? And in turn, if we become like Jesus and his words and his deeds flow out of us where we live, work, and play, then there are things we're going to do. We are going to make disciples of other people. And so you've heard and you'll hear a lot of methodologies of how we'll do that. But the ultimate goal for us is to help that person be like Jesus, literally to walk in the dust of the rabbi and say the things and do the things that Jesus would say and do. That's good. I, I think, you know, at the church, we would agree with everything that's said here. Um, the two big aspects that we want to see in the life of a disciple are maturity and multiplication. Uh, conformity to Jesus, but then multiplication, you know, like Robbie said this morning about the, the ministry of Jesus and having that strategy for multiplication. And when you look throughout Scripture, the, the idea of being an image bearer, um, even beginning in Genesis 1, um, reflecting God's character and extending his kingdom. Uh, that's not something that you just see beginning in Matthew chapter 28, the pictures there throughout Scripture. And so, you know, being able to tie that in to God's original design, what we're created for and what we're going to be doing for all of eternity, um, you know, that's a, that, that's a key piece in, in defining that disciple. 